narrated them on this wall from Taina, who is someone that down here needs, still needs a lot of support, needs teacher um, involvement all the time, through to Tuakana, um, who is someone who uh, needs less support, they're motivated, they can work independently, and they pretty much, if you see there, they can work anywhere in the school pretty much, um, and they have a lot more benefits as a Tuakana. So at the start of the year we had a lot of the kids in here, and um, slowly we're getting them top here now, mm. so we're kind of just moving the wrong way. And once or twice a week we'll get together and we'll, we'll, we'll talk about the kids and, oh, we need to really move this child up to here, or this one needs to go back here, they did this, or they haven't done this, so they need to go back there. And, but the best thing about this wall is you can hold the children accountable, so I'll get a, a child here, someone who might be reflecting on the tree in a moment, and um, I'll look at these levels and I'll say, you know, what, why have I moved you down to this level, what are you not doing? What can you do to move back up? And the kids will just come up with it in the south from the criteria on the bottom. Um, depending where they are on this wall depends uh, on where they can work in the block. So each room has got a different kind of meaning to it. The title's above the, the room you'll see there. So that one behind you is called Teruma Mahurutanga, which means the serene room. Mahurutanga means serene. We thought we'd change it up a bit. So it's the silent room, basically. Um, if kids want to work by themselves, they can go in this room and do tasks by themselves. There's no talking down there. It's quiet. Um, and it's yeah, just independent work by themselves. This, and obviously that's lower down, so that's Taina Tahi. This is Teruma Tuakana Taina, so one of the teaching styles we really value here is Tuakana Taina. I don't know if you've heard of that teaching yeah. style, you would have yeah. here. Um, so the desks in here are set up for them to work in pairs. So when they work, want to work with a buddy, if they've got any tasks they need to complete with a buddy, they'll come in here and just work in pairs um, of groups of two, and they can talk and stuff in there as long as they're doing the work. Down the end, and again, we're moving up the scale here. So down the end is Teru Maropu. So when kids need to work in groups of three or four or more, they can go in there. And you'll see all the tables are set up for um, group work. And this room here is the, the teaching space. So we have like two lessons going here at once. Um, and this is where the kids come to for their group lessons. So we only teach to no more than eight kids at a time and do all class teaching. So on the timetable you'll see here, kids have two literacy lessons they have to turn up to in a week and two math lessons they've got to turn up to um, and they just come to us. Two teachers are teaching and the other one's the learning coach out conferencing with kids um, and signing off tasks and, some, and things like that. And so how do they know what they have to, how do they know the content they have to get? How do they know where to go when? So they've choice, got... Total choice. This is timetable, so their group yeah. sessions are timetable. Yeah. But when they're not with us in a group, and if they're not doing a follow up, then they're working through an apple sheet, which we make each week, which is a set of 20 activities that they can choose from, depending on what activities they like better, um, and their own tasks as well. But they choose from them, and they've got to get a certain amount of points by the end of the week. So that's when they're working in a room of their choice, depending on where they are on that levels wall.